Hi there, welcome to our final presentation. We developed a game named Tag of Logic. This game is created by Professor Michael Picker. So uh, people generally don't critically challenge each other. They just believe what other people say. So in this game, like people can challenge each other critically and they can change their own viewpoint. The general target audience for this game is the class setting of Professor Michael Picker. For his class, he will use this game. Then uh, for future use, we want to host it in cloud and other people can play at, as a fun club participation. So the significance is uh, they can change their own viewpoint, they can critically challenge each other, and this that data set can be useful. Like at what what point people change their own viewpoint? What made the what point change to make change their own viewpoint? Then for developing this project, we used Git repository and collaborate work. We had weekly meeting and before implementing any new features, we created a branch within we pull requested, then every thing is reviewed by us. After passing all the tested and taste and everything, and we finally march in into our main branch. So for the software architecture, we used three tier design system. You can see in here. In our client air, we use the React.js while the front end development is done. In our business logic tier, we use the Node.js, Express, and Socket.io. And in our for our database, we use the Redis database system. And you can see in our backend system, we use the Node.js. And uh, by the use of our application, we can see there is lots of live data and lots of live communications is going. For that reason, we have to use the socket IO. This is the perfect use for this. Then uh, for our database architecture, we use the Redis, where we use the key value pair system to implement the features. And these are the entities for entity diagram for our whole project, you can see for our each component, we have created each entity and they, those are related to each other. Then for our front-end architecture front and front-end interface, we use the React.js. So in React.js, what we do, we divide the component in a smaller parts. So you can see in our whole project, we divided the components in six parts in our first Topper part, you can see our main claim component, but the main claim is shown. And in here, people are, can also vote for the convinced or not convinced. And that that data is shown in a progress bar. Then in our regions in play sector, we can see the, the regions in play is shown. And in here, people can also vote. And by this vote, the live data is shown here. And when any is only seen play is established it's shown in here established ground component and in the add reason form component we can see where people can suggest a new reasons in play and in the reasons to play the all the suggestion came from this form this list is shown here and in here also people can vote for which one they want to discuss and discuss and which one they want to ignore and uh, just like in our back in Node.js, we use the client, we use the socket IO. In our front end React.js, we use the Redux for, to maintain the state management. As you can see, we have lots of state management in our project. So we, we have to manage those using this Redux WebSocket flow, where you can see here, the data is emitted from the back end. And the backend is talking with the front end, front inside. And it's like, and in our Redux store, the data is emitted and viewed and showed in our, to the user. And 
we can see there needs doesn't need to be refresh any page in our project because um, we use the socket IO which which use a, a two tier architecture system and in our Redux using the Redux we also help um, manage all the steps. Now my other project partner will demonstrate the whole project. Thanks a lot. Hello, Professor. My name is Jeff Fishola, and I'll be presenting mainly on the. I'll mainly be demoing the app. So um, the app is um, Talk of Logic, and here I can go and create a game and enter the main claim. And this is a main claim I can enter, and I can start the game. And so when you start the game, there's um this thing. Um, the app is launched and it says Canada is a fair country which is the main claim um, and also it gives a room code which allows any other players to join so I'm going to join as other players um, using the room code so uh, I'm just going to put the name here and then uh, join as a second player and join as a third player here uh, and when you are joining, uh, you can either enter your name or you can put in a distance or the game or, um, generates a random name for you, but you can also put in your own name. I'm going to put in my name here and then click on join. And yes, I'm loaded into the main game. So as a player, I can, um, I can choose to vote convinced or not yet persuaded and I can vote not yet persuaded here and, uh, is automatically updated on the view and if I go to the referees view you can see that it, the referee is also updated when there's a vote so basically uh, the sockets um, emit actions to the server and the server then returns the action to the other users connected in the room so you can see here that this user is also um, connected as well and I can vote not yet persuaded and the vote counters are updated constantly so here uh, i can suggest like a reason supporting uh, um, for or a main the main claim and i can enter one here Canada is a just country uh, because it is vegetarian so um being that I can I can enter my reasons and I can either vote discuss and or ignore and um, whenever you vote a player votes for a reason it's automatically updated so if I go to the referee side I can see my votes appeared here and then also uh, I can go to another player as well and um, update uh, the role uh, because And I can submit the rule and then basically uh, these two reasons the current player they add them so it doesn't have the ability to edit them but I add this I added this reason so I can edit it so because um, so instead of saying because I could change to Canada here and submit and it's updated Canada it is democratic so I can vote on this call and ignore so and then um, if I move to the referees view here, I have the option also as a referee to um, edit other players' reasons as well. So, or I can just click on um, begin bout. So basically, once as players are voting, if there's a reason to play that's really interesting, I can begin a bout, a begin bout. And this has become a reason, the current reason here has moved to a reason in play here. Canada is a just country. Uh, so I can go um, here and then uh, as a player I can um, either vote established or contested so I'm going to send a few votes as a player so I voted established uh, I voted established as another player and I voted contested as another player and if I swap to the referees view you can see um, the referees updated are established and contested and also here if I'm, I can also um, 
update edit the current racing in play and like i said canada is a just country uh, because it has equality under the law and submit and it, go, it gets updated canada is a just country because it has equality under the law and then also i can move this reason in play if if the reasons get discussed and people um a lot of people vote on it and establish the referee can move it to established grounds and it is hard um here because canada is a just uh, canada is a just country because it has equality under law uh, we can add put another reason in play and have players vote on it so let's say established and then another player's votes contested and then we can uh, and you can see the votes here and then we can decide okay if, if after the players vote on it and the reason is discussed players can move to uh, and the referee can move it to establish and it gets added here so one another the, one of the final main features is to be able to end the game so when you click the referee has the ability to click on final poll start final poll and this triggers sort of the end of the game and when the referee clicks start final poll uh, it, it, a vote there another vote on the main claim happens and users can click um, not yet persuaded uh, convinced people can vote again and then convinced and then one thing the referee can do is after after enough time has elapsed and he's um waited for people to vote he can click on get winners to see who are the winners so basically winners are people who change their minds so i uh, since none of the players changed their mind so i've just changed their votes here uh, and then i can click on get winners and he, here uh, here uh, two people place their nice uh, change their minds um nice good out when he changed his mind from not yet persuaded to convinced and i changed my mind from convinced to not yet persuaded but that's mainly the that's just a quick rundown of the application we developed um for professor michael picard's um talk of logic game thank you professor for listening